Harlem Grown: How One Big Idea Transformed a Neighborhood, written by Tony Hillary, illustrated by Jesse Hartland. To Nana and Pop, Greta and Frank Wilkins, Mom and Dad, Virginia and Harold Hillary, my wife and children, Mary, Tony, Zachary, and Rachel Hillary. My right hand, Vanessa Vincent, Abby Lentz for her help writing this, the hardworking staff of Harlem Grown, and the original Harlem Grown children, Nevea, Epiphany, Kadiatu, Gorgui, Asiatu, and Nantine, and all the wonderful kids of Harlem who make our work so special. T H. In memory of my father, Robert E. Hartland, raised in a gardenless apartment in Brooklyn, New York. And the son of Irish immigrants, he went on to blissfully grow roses, dogwood, hydrangeas, and dahlias in his suburban Washington D.C. yard. J. H. Once, in a big city called New York, in a bustling neighborhood called Harlem, there was an empty lot. Nevea called it the haunted garden. It was cluttered with wrecked couches, old TVs, broken bottles, and empty cans. Once, in a big city, in a bustling neighborhood, there was Nevea's school. P.S. One Seventy Five, it was called, and it sat across from the haunted garden. One day, a man came to P.S. One Seventy Five. Mr. Tony, the kids called him. When Mr. Tony saw those kids and that haunted garden, he had an idea. He began to clear the haunted garden, one piece of trash at a time. Soon it was a clean slate, a blank canvas. Mr. Tony laid down new, clean soil. He invited Nevea to help. Seeds, shovels, water. Nevea started to plant. Then she dug holes in the ground. Into the holes, she placed her seedlings, and then she carefully covered them with dirt. Her friends came too. Four hundred seedlings went into the ground, one for each kid: basil, mint, cilantro, rosemary. Then the kids watered, and weeded, and their plants began to grow. Once, when Nevea came to the lot after school, her plant was wilted and sad. "We'll try again," said Mr. Tony. We'll plant something different. Wood, hammer, nails. Mr. Tony built raised beds for the plants. The kids tried again: peas and broccoli, mint and eggplants. They watered and weeded, and at last, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, blueberries, strawberries, collard greens, kale. Basil, arugula. Mr. Tony watched and helped and smiled. More kids came from the neighborhood. They tended their plants, which grew and grew. Up came more fruits and vegetables. The kids took their green beans and carrots and cucumbers home to their families for dinner. Once, in a big city called New York. In a bustling neighborhood called Harlem, there was a man with an idea. There were kids who wanted to help, and they made a farm. Start a garden anywhere. You'll have to buy the book or pause the page to read this part. That was Harlem Grown.
by Tony Hillary, illustrated by Jesse Hartland. And this is EDU Kids Space. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons. And if there's something in particular you'd like to learn about, leave us a message in the comments.